It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for season 11 of The Walking Dead. In this video we're going to be taking a look at what they could build up in the last eight episodes that could potentially lead to the spin-offs with Daryl by himself and the one with Negan and Maggie and potentially one with Carol later on. So why do they leave? Do they leave because they go on a mission to find Rick after they find out he's alive like everyone is expecting or is there more to it? So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. Now, obviously, there will be some aspects of Rick in the final eight episodes. There was a scene in the trailer where Daryl found his gun, the revolver, so we know that at least Rick's name will be mentioned, and they might even get a sense that he might be alive. But I don't think that the mission that they're going to go on is going to be exclusively to look for Rick. Now, there was a recent interview that Lauren Cohan and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who of course play Maggie and Negan, did about their spinoff, Isle of the Dead. And in that short interview, Jeffrey Dean Morgan did say that fans will learn what pushes these characters to be where they are in this spinoff. They'll see that in the final eight episodes. So we know that they will explain exactly why these characters leave. And it's not like they end the show with the characters being there and then in the spinoffs we're going to see that they are way out of where they're supposed to be. Now, it is interesting that Daryl goes by himself and Negan and Maggie split and go on their own in another part of the United States. Now, when it comes to Carol, of course, Carol was supposed to be in the spinoff with Daryl. But because Melissa McBride, the actress that plays Carol, wasn't able to relocate to Europe, which is where the Daryl spinoff will be, the news came that she won't be a part of that spinoff. So we're going to leave Carol out for a little bit. But... There's probably plans for a spin-off with Carol as well, most likely with Ezekiel, the next person that makes sense for her to go on a journey with. But tying it back to what I said earlier, the fact that we're going to learn why these characters leave in the final eight episodes, there could potentially be a hint about that in the trailer. There is a shot in the trailer where Maggie is giving a hug to her son, Herschel Jr., and she's standing next to a bus. And they're actually at Alexandria, if I'm not mistaken. But what if this is her saying goodbye to Herschel Jr. before she gets onto the bus and leaves with Negan to go on that mission with him in Manhattan, New York? That would definitely line up. Now, even though I said Negan will be going with her, I don't think that that's going to happen right away. I think... More likely than not, Maggie's going to want to go by herself and Negan is going to push to go with her because he wants to protect her. He promised Herschel Jr. that he would protect Herschel Jr. and Maggie or at least do his best to protect them. So I think we're going to see a situation where Maggie's going to go on this journey. Negan initially doesn't want to go but because he sees that Maggie's going, he's gonna try to go with her to help her. And I don't think it works the other way around. Like, I don't think if Negan wants to go on a journey, Maggie's gonna want to go with him to help him. So I do think that Maggie's gonna be the first person to go and Negan is gonna tag along to help. Now, with that said, there's something very interesting that they could do when it comes to the Negan and Maggie thing. Because obviously... Based on the trailer of season 11 part 3, it appears that Negan is threatening Sebastian and it looks like he might get himself in a little bit of trouble at Commonwealth pretty early on when he gets there. So what if we see a situation where Negan is the one that saves Maggie in the battle with the Commonwealth or something to that effect 
And what if, on the flip side of what I said, Maggie asks Negan to come? That would also be a pretty cool twist on things because now she understands that to survive and to be able to get to the bottom of whatever they're going to get to the bottom of, Negan is the right ally to have by her side. It doesn't mean she forgives him. It doesn't mean she forgets. It doesn't mean she respects him. She sees Negan as a valuable asset to have when she goes on this risky journey. Speaking of risky journeys, why does Daryl go by himself? I think that ties back into the risk of the mission and the fact that Daryl will end up in Europe, which is way, way further than Manhattan, way riskier. So I think because Maggie has Herschel Jr. and Negan potentially has his unborn child alongside his wife, if they make it, it's less risk for the two of them to go on the short mission, which is to Manhattan, than the far mission to Europe. Because obviously Daryl doesn't have a family, he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have kids. Even if Negan's family don't make it, like I'm predicting, it would still make sense because Maggie wants to go, Negan wants to protect her. So it still works the same kind of way. Now with all of that said, what is the mission? We keep talking about the mission. So what is the mission? Is the mission to find Rick? Like I said earlier, I think at the end it's going to become about that, but earlier on it might not be. And there is actually a clue in the trailer. Obviously at the end of the trailer we have a scene that's got a lot of fans talking. Aaron speaking about the stories that he's heard about walkers that can climb walls, that can open doors, basically intelligent walkers. Now I did a separate video talking about what I think that is and my thoughts and opinions about it. But that's beside the point. It doesn't really matter what that's all about. All that matters is that there are new types of walkers that adapt to their environment more quickly than regular walkers to a point where it's tough to deal with them the same way. So what if this is set up for the spinoffs? What if the survivors find out that this is going on? They see these types of walkers that could be quote-unquote intelligent and what if they get some sort of intelligence this intelligence could actually be coming to them because of commonwealth's existing alliances and connections to other communities out there potentially the CRM or something along those lines now there was even something in the trailer for Tales of the Walking Dead which I'm going to be breaking down probably tomorrow. In that trailer, we meet a character named Dr. Everett who speaks about studying the way that the walkers behave and their migration methods and stuff like that. So what if that's connected? What if this is the doctor at the center of the intelligence that comes in to the survivors in season 11 part 3 of The Walking Dead's original show about these types of walkers that don't necessarily behave the same way as regular walkers. Now, it is extremely interesting because when we hear Dr. Everett talk about this in the trailer for Tales of the Walking Dead, it actually reminds me a lot of what Dr. Edwin Jenner at the CDC was studying earlier on during the outbreak and even later on, years down the line. And obviously I'm saying this because of the scene that was in the after credit scene of The Walking Dead World Beyond. So what if there is some sort of a connection between Dr. Everett and Dr. Edwin Jenner? We do know that we'll be in Atlanta for a little bit in one of the episodes of Tales of The Walking Dead. That was something that was pretty subtle, but it was in the trailer for Tales of The Walking Dead. I'll talk more about that when I break it down. But what if Dr. Everett is also in Atlanta working at the CDC with Dr. Edwin Jenner. That would definitely make things even more interesting because of the connection Dr. Edwin Jenner already had early on with the survivors. Now there's another layer to it and that layer is World Beyond. 
in World Beyond, another doctor who was doing pretty much the exact same thing as Dr. Everett, maybe not to that level, but similar, was Dr. Leo Bennett. So what if all of these things are build up for how these spin-offs are going to come together? What if this spin-off is about this big mission to find these doctors, excluding Dr. Edwin Jenner, obviously, because he died, but finding these doctors and scientists who are studying the walkers and may have clues about, first, how to deal with these evolving types of walkers, and two, how to potentially cure this thing once and for all. What if the journey that Negan and Maggie go on in Manhattan is a mission to find one of these scientists, and the one that Daryl goes on to Europe is about finding another one. We do know, based on the after credit scene of World Beyond Again, that there are scientists working on something in France. So what if that's exactly what it is? Daryl's journey takes him to Europe, specifically France, to find those scientists that were mentioned in World Beyond. Now, after all of that, it definitely could still lead to finding Rick. Because something this huge, like scientists studying the walkers, cannot not have CRM at the center of it. It just doesn't make sense. For as big of an organization as CRM are, they must be connected to that story in some sort of way. And obviously, when the CRM are in question, Rick's link to them is fairly easy to bring into the story afterwards. So I think even though the mission may start with finding these scientists, it's going to end with, let's get these scientists together, let's find Rick, stop the CRM, something along those lines. I could be way off, but I feel like everything at this point is lining up for that to be the case. But I'm definitely interested to know your thoughts and opinions about this. Why do you think these characters leave in the spin-offs? Do you think it's going to all connect to Rick and Rick only? Or do you think that there's something bigger going on with potentially the layer of the scientists being added in and all of that? So share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. Oh, 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 oh,